When I first walked through the front doors of Gaylord Hall, I was amazed. This is such a cool building. I came to realize that each of these rooms is more than just a classroom. Here we learn our craft and mature as storytellers. It's a place where our passions come alive. Working with musicians, local musicians were really awesome. They come in here and they go, oh, this is the real deal. Let's get down, I want to be on TV. You're watching The Set. The Set, it's a musical practicum we have here. We bring in local bands and we film them in a multi-cam style. It's a really neat experience to be able to be there live, then to go back and edit it into a full half hour show. Everything from the show, the artwork, the music, the concept, all came from a student. And every year since, the professors give it in our hands and say, how do we make this show fresh? This is my classroom, and I wouldn't be anywhere else. Six, five, four. During the show, it's a little hectic. You're sitting down, getting ready, and looking at the countdown. It is my great taken. Good evening, and welcome to OU Nightly. I'm Matt McCauley. And I'm Kelsey Hightower. OU Nightly is a complete student-run, student-produced newscast. Coming up on OU Nightly, you got to be like a mini-expert in a way. Read the wires, read the whole story, and have a good understanding of what you're talking about. Close today in record territory. I have voices in my ear on my headset. I'm corresponding with my technical director. I'm constantly communicating with my camera operators, with my graphics. I'm still kicking in. Our teachers rely on us to be the problem solvers. I have a blast with it because this is what I want to do. And it's a lot of fun. It's not like sitting in a classroom. Way to get out. Wasn't it? Really cool thing is not everything actually happens in Gaylord. A lot of us get the opportunity to work outside of Gaylord, work in Sooner Vision. It is gone! Pretty much any position that you want to learn, you have the ability to learn. If you want to be a director, you can sit in and watch a director. It's be a TD sometimes, but when it's go time, it's go time. And the Sooners win 2-1 to one on a sack. Through our faculty and courses, we learn the who's, the what's, the where's, the why's. We also learn the hows, how to put it into practice. Here at Gaylord College, they bring the real world to us. In Venezuela, we do not have public relations as a major, so I decided to take some classes in public relations, and I never regret my decision. Lindsay and Asp is a student operated advertising and public relations agency. I love the environment, I love the people that are there. We have a video department, we have a digital department. We have a creative department. It's really the experiential learning opportunity for students to bring to life what they learn in the classroom. I had the opportunity also to have real clients to speak in Spanish and to work with real PR and advertising campaigns. Everyone knows that severe weather can sometimes be scary. The Oklahoma Insurance Department asked us for the second year to help them with their National Tornado Summit. Both insurance professionals and responders get together and talk about the issues that arise during natural disasters. We had quite a bit to play in terms of promotion, advertising. The video team worked a lot with us and they put together an overall marketing video for next year's conference. We're helping a national audience understand tornado safety and education. So get creative. In today's world, it's all about versatility, communicating to diverse audiences on multiple platforms, print, mobile, online, whether you're a professional writing student crafting a novel or an advertising student designing a campaign, it all starts with good storytelling. I really like stories that touch on you know, people's lives and hardships, kind of what they go through, but I also like to do things that are kind of hot topics, but show it in a different way. Roots is a practicum here at Gaylord. Everybody in the class makes a short documentary, and then towards the end of the semester, we make our own magazine show. I know one of the things that's hitting the headlines recently is violence in sports. There's broadcast electronic media students doing the video and the lighting, and then there's also journalism students coming up with questions and finding good interviews. I I learn from doing it myself. It's something that I can call my own, Hannah can call her own, I mean all these people that worked on it and it's just something I'm truly proud of. I came here to grad school because I saw it as an investment in my future. How could I take where I was and step it up a notch? Well, Gaylord is definitely a place where we can have a vision and make it a reality. I'm a big fan of comics. I've read comics since I was young. So as a graduate student, I'm required to create this project. It's up to you to kind of come up with what you want to do. So I thought to myself, well, why not do a tornado PSA? We brainstormed about it, and we eventually came up with the concept of making everything into a comic book world. Mom! 
It was an interesting process because there are special effects, objects flying through the screen. You know, we're gonna be hanging kids from the grid. We're gonna be destroying chairs. <laughs> the table was pretty crazy. We grabbed it, spun it, got some clean rotations out of it, and then I took it into After Effects to get the effect I wanted. Yeah, I think I wanna, I think I wanna shoot it. It was crazy how many layers were involved in this project. I had to film the talent in one layer. I had to film the backgrounds in a separate layer. I had to apply like a cartoon filter to them. So they exist within this comic book world. And we have just received confirmation that this is now a tornado warning. Don't wait until the last moment to prepare for a tornado. Tune into your room and take cover. Ah! Because unless you live in a comic book world, ah! you must have a plan before a tornado strikes. In just a short time, Gaylord's PhD program has made a real name for itself. In fact, all the students who have graduated to date had a job lined up even before they finished their dissertation. One of the reasons for its success? The ability to personally tailor a program for each student. If you are a student who wants to do something, you have this idea that you want to make happen, they're more than willing to help support you make that happen. So I came to them and said, I want to teach a class before I leave here. They said, okay, great, what do you want to teach a class on? I said, I want to teach a class on video games. I wanted to kind of help the school sort of be at the vanguard of this new media um, aspect. We talk about what makes a game, we talk about the components of a game, and I said, all right, now we're going to take this and put it into practice. I'm going to give you the tools to actually go out and sort of critique the elements of this form of media. Really look at sort of what are the motivations, what are the reasoning behind this, what is the goal of this game, what are the limitations that are put on me to, in order to actually make this game fun. I want students to stop thinking about this stuff just as entertainment. It is a commodity, it is a cultural artifact, it is all of these things, and really we kind of have to be able to sort of critically analyze our relationship to it. Some of the greatest opportunities in Gaylord College are the things you can do outside Gaylord. Each year, dozens of students are involved in unique and innovative projects, internships, and programs across the U.S. and in Europe, Asia, and throughout the world. The NAB had asked us to do a really tough project. It was the middle of November. School was in full swing. Two weeks after uh, Hurricane Sandy struck the East Coast, they wanted to shoot on the role broadcasters played during the hurricane. Unbelievable. We shot in five states within a period of a week. Multiple markets in each of the major cities. We knew we needed to move very quickly. The first time we ever had the team together was actually sitting in our car driving up. When we hit stations, there's two things that we need to do. We only had about 48 hours of our trip scheduled. In some cases, we didn't even know where we were going to sleep the next night. Chandra was on the phone trying to set up the next day, 24 hours ahead of time. The next street we're turning on is uh, 16th Street. As we worked and as we operated, we learned how to function as a team. The storm hit. This trip was an opportunity for me to further develop the skills that I had learned in Gaylord. And I guess for many of us that are teaching, that's what it's all about. We bring students along. The type of opportunity that allows you to take what you've learned in a textbook and put it into practice is invaluable. And I felt like I developed as a person and as a professional. Over Christmas break, I spent two weeks in Asia and we went with Professor Avery. I allow students to choose where they want to go. We went to Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, and Hong Kong. We visit advertising and public relations agencies and media agencies. Each of them approaches creative in a different way. The primary way to see culture, in my opinion, is walking down the street and seeing people. The whole idea is to see things from a little different perspective. The food, I have yet to find a place that can replicate it the same way. Um, the people, the culture, it's just rich. Gaylord is amazing at supporting their students. They set up these opportunities to connect and network and to branch out. So I never had gone abroad at all. So this was a new experience in the very beginning and it was fantastic and totally worth it and I can't wait to go back. Inside or outside these walls, opportunities abound. They have been a hallmark for the past 100 years and will be a cornerstone for the next century to come. Gaylord College, this is our classroom.